What's up guys? Today we're going to go work on the Nova a little bit. I am on my way to meet dad right now. Uh, we just got some general maintenance stuff to do today. We're gonna change oil, spark plugs, run lash. We are waiting on some parts so it's not gonna be completely ready today. Our main goal is basically getting it ready to start making some passes. We uh, probably need to start looking into the nitrous programmer, the grid system, kind of familiarizing ourselves with that to see exactly what we're going to need to do. So, yeah, I will pick you guys back up when I get over here. See ya! Is that, I didn't see his pickup truck here. Oh, he left. He went to go get foil. Foil? He, he went down the road to get oil. Oh, there. oil. The Brad Penn oil, the oil dealer guy. Just wait for the guy to get home. There's those plugs. And spark plugs. You got spark plugs up in the car too, don't you? Yep. And obviously you're not going to be able to run, do lash today, you said, right? No, because... You're just going to leave I, the carburetor completely off of it until the other one comes back? Yeah, because I need to put heat in the motor. I need to put heat in the motor to run the lash. So, I don't, I, unless I put my other car... Put you got some oil here. Or are these empty? Oh, no. Transmission fluid. No, I got you. Then I think we're good there. I haven't checked. I checked it last time I checked it. We'll, be, we'll check it again. Oh, I think need to pick this up too. Something I forgot about. What's up? Oh, uh, your shut off? Shut off valve. I got a water in the line, but that's okay. Like your side what are you going to do? Run that valve. down like by the shifter or something? Yeah. I'm going to mount it. I'm going to mount it right there by where I can turn it off and on. Do you already have a line going from the trunk to the front of the car yep but it's gonna go to here and we're gonna do a short line from there to the solenoid okay so i need to work i need to measure that and figure out what size line i need okay and i might shorten the rear too but and i need to grab my bottles because i gotta go fill down this week okay well we got time to get that yeah what's what do you want to start with uh, do harnesses floor pans or what do you or you want to drain fuel or Grab some empty jugs and drain fuel. And I want to grab, I grab these plugs and I want to grab everything that's right there. Okay. I'm not that right there, huh? Do I still maybe get to it, I guess? So you got plenty of room to grab it and move it easily. It's fucking tight as shit. Might be able to loosen it up a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, probably. My dad's been showing me loosen it down. My old drain bucket? It's out there in that bar. Drain bucket? What's your drain bucket? You mean for fuel? For oil. Oh, for oil. For yes. Earl. I got a drain pan out there. Got deep sides on it. I'm all right. Let me turn it off and turn it off. All right, shut it off. All right, start it back up. Shut it off. All right. Key on, and arm the nitrous. Key on, ignition on. Yeah. Fuel on. 
Keep the line. It's on. Shining it off. I wouldn't think it is because I wouldn't think the nitrous would pump would be running all the time you're driving. Back to my project here. Trying to get some damn seat belts in this thing. You're saying there's just so I need to do I need to measure one more pit out where I'm gonna mount. Harness is in there. Where are you trying to mount? I liked where you had it. I'll just make sure it's accessible easily to turn so your fingers ain't getting jammed up on it or something trying to turn it on and off. Probably be better if you have top like that so you're easily, easy can grab it quickly and Turn it fast, you know what I mean? No, that, that's that, that's the opposite. It's when it when this does not recognize pressure, it turns that solenoid off. That's what it does. This has nothing to do with this. This is just a bypass and it just regulates pressure. Or reads pressure. That's a little pump there. Yeah, no, this is a cylinder. Yeah, I know, pressure. but that's just a this little pump. This is a pump inside here and a regulator here. So this this pump should be armed. I mean, when you arm the nitrous, this pump should kick on. That means you're ready. You have your fuel pressure right. Your solenoid's hot. Your purge is hot. And that's how it should be wired. So you should be able to take that off when it pump. Fuel. I should pump fuel. Now it's it's me. Now it won't. The, the nitrous solenoid and the fuel solenoids will not open up till this kicks on. But the solenoids here and there, this should be running still. The pump should always be running. So I gotta figure out how much cut off switch anyway. Yeah, I'll call. Them. What cut off switch? Well. So the way it's wired, that's what should shut this car off. Cold time. Oh, you're saying he can still turn it on with the ignition? Well, when you, if say you're in a pickle, like I see a fire, right. I'm behind him at the starting line or wherever, I can get to that shut. This car keep running. Hey, this, oh, you turn this off. Oh, when you kill the power on the back of this car, it'll stay running. Yes, that's that that's not right. Fuck. Yeah, that's not right. You don't want that. So it should. Well, also too, I think too it now with the key short circuit everything in this thing. I also yeah. think with the key on, with the car running, you can hit the ignition switch up on the up on the dash, and it don't shut off either. Correct. That's what Correct. we're talking about. So that's what we need to fix. Okay. Yeah, we need to fix that. And he's yeah. like, that's moving a couple wires around, but. I don't want to get in the middle. Right. I know my car to wire, but he, I don't know how he did it. Right. Yeah. There's. Like he's just, he's just oh, don't get me one. don't get me wrong. He said I'll come up there and fix it. Just tell it's me, just and I told him I'd let him know. Yeah. Well, I hate to like. So what it really boils down to, he's got his hot running through that alternator, so that thing's going. You shut that off, the alternator's still putting juice to it. You got to disrupt the alternator. So the the, the, the main power switch should be in the in the main power line going yeah. to the yeah. main power wire going to the alternator. Yeah, it's got to interrupt the alternator. At least that's the way mine is. Oh yeah, the it'll run off the alternator. It runs off the alternator. Yeah. So I'm gonna call Scott. Scott actually acted like. He, he would either meet me at Mike's or he'd come over here, or whatever. So I'm gonna call him and see if I can get him to come over. Cause that's just your general fuse box down there, right? Horn lights, all that stuff, accessories. 
I guess he could be running off some accessory posts. It's for the nitrous stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, like a separate fuse block. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's probably in there under nitrous. Why don't I get the schematic out on it? You got it. He's got it. Just figure out where the hot is from now. I bet it's got an inline fuse. I bet that he probably didn't put it in there because if you put that switch on with nothing in there, it will damn burn the pump on. Yeah. And nobody slipped the switch on, I'm sure. Hopefully not. I wonder if there's something back here too with this. Oh, is there a fuse back here? Oh, back with the bottom heater? Yeah, because this has to be complete. Oh, arm. Yeah, I think arm. that's just the heater, though. Oh. Well, there are there's some fuses right here. Yeah. So or is that I just for the if heater? That's gotta be on though. We need to. Uh, we need to get some times down on it. We need to get some type of data. Testing. We get some testing done, and then I'll, I'll go to some of those things, but not until we get some testing done. I want to get some testing done on the car to make sure the car's gonna work right. I still, you know, we just don't know. It's all new still. Cold car is still new. I feel the suspension's really close. I feel we got that really close. Just from the few. Oh, from what I felt with the it. suspension so far, I mean, I mean, it's going straight. Well, yeah, it's it, for the power you've put to it so far, you know, I mean, it's not like you put much to it, but it'll go. It'll. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too worried about the suspension being too far off. It just depends where we go. The track's a little different. I'll change the front suspension a little bit, the rear shocks a little bit. But for work, if we go test it on the street, that's what I want to test. That's what I want to work. So. Yep. Get it's not far off from that. Just do the general maintenance stuff, get the odds and ends buttoned up, like the seat belts, and then yep. be able to uh, mm -hmm. start playing with the nitrous controller and yep. see exactly what it takes to do that stuff. So, yep. We'll get it done. It's getting close. All right, guys, that'll wrap up this one. We uh, we still got a little bit to do. We, uh, we're, the, we're waiting on a carburetor is what we're doing. We're actually going to be switching the car over to E85. That, that last time out, we were having a little bit of an issue with it getting a little bit hot. Uh, so we're thinking if we switch over to E85, that's going to kind of take care of that problem for us. And, uh, yeah, so then we'll just start kind of tuning in with some test hits on the street and playing with the nitrous and then kind of just see where we go from there. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you next time.